Greetings everyone, and Grade here with another Acorns 2 Definite Edition replay. Spawn on the bottom right side as the Red Berbers with Cute Girl. Definitely a lie. Spawn on the top left side as the Cyan Vikings with Sneaky Salmon. That's a bit more believable. No girl plays Age of Empires 2, right? Mostly men. We do now, of course, have Berbers. Let's go and cover each player's civilization bonuses. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of it with my first replay for today. Berbers, they are a cavalry and naval civilization. Villagers move faster per age, starting 5% in Dark Age and 10% in the rest. Save for humans cost uh, less in Castle Age and even less in Imperial Age, and ships move faster since there's no water in this map. Or a couple of ponds, that is not going to be very important. Unique units, camel archer, cavs, unique cavalry archer, and genitur is a mounted uh, skirmisher, and we've got those damn llamas making a whole bunch of sound. I really hate the llamas. There's a scout hitting some of these villagers there. Unique text, kaboss, team castles work 25% faster. Microbot camels, camel units regenerate. Genitur is available in the archer age, starting the castle age. We do have a militia rush here. <clears throat> Fetal age on the research queue. For red, blue does not have uh, fetal age just yet. He's not even started queuing it up, so we got a delayed of fetal age for the Vikings. Vikings benefits. Let's go and cover that as we got these forces start attacking up for infantry and naval civilization. Warships cost less per age. Not important here. If trick is plus twenty percent hit points starting fetal age, so not right now. And wheelbarrow hand card free, which does start now. At least wheelbarrow. Indic units to berserk, a health regen infantry and longbow, the longboat chieftains. Infantry deal bonus damage, bonus damage to cavalry generates gold when killing villagers, trade units, and monks. Volk I don't know how to pronounce that. Archer line and longboats get plus four attack. Team bonus docks cost fifty percent less. <clears throat> and we still do not have fetal age for the Viking player. How much resources does he have at the moment? The Viking player has a good amount of food, 500. I'm not sure what he's trying to do with the militia right here. And we have farms being put on field, and, and right now the Dark Age. We have a, a big amount of wood there. What is the Viking player doing? He has a good amount of food. He's really on the village advantages. He's really trying to maximize wheelbarrow? Is that even a thing? <clears throat> Militia push away forward, doing applying some good pressure to these villagers. And they do shank them a little bit. Does not get any shots there from the town center. That probably was close enough. It seemed like six tiles away. And now we do have feudal age for the Viking player, who has currently Viking, uh, feudal age after 20 villagers. Of course, when he ages up, these militia will get additional health. Was it 20% health? Yes, 20% health. Do not have this scout trying to get some damage there onto the Palisade wall there. <clears throat> and now we do have the yes. Saber Team bit of fire there. And it looks like Red wanted to pause there, and that sign does grant it. We do have some Red Scouts being pulled on the field. Does Burrows get anything for Scouts? Nope, nothing cheaper starting the castle age, so no any advantages for the scouts other than just, just being scouts. Militia now engaging these horsemen. Middle age still on the build queue, so he has not got increased health just yet. He does need that. When the men arms both of the militia do go down there, they're not men at arms, a militia at this moment in time. And feudal age now. Science still has more villagers as an opponent, so he does still have that slight advantage. Going for more villagers now, and Science Scout does scout one of Red Scout. Anybody will save his scout, but depending if he takes a cornered path, it may be intercepted. Or just stands right there to be Adva's uh, next slit. <clears throat> we got a good number of farms being pulled out over here. Science still has a good number of farms as well. He's designed for villagers, not for any more aggression. Red, what are you eyeing? Only villagers, so let's go and fast forward for the time being. Scout trying to get some hits there, and does receive a poke there from the spearman. Science still has a slight villager advantage, which is very nice. 
and that scout does go down there. The other scouts not pushing way forward. Goes fine walls and stone. And we do actually have one of these palisade walls deleted there so we can pull out the archers through the palisade wall. Very nice. Oh, here you got the archers. Oh, actually, it's a good number of archers there. Five archers, two spearmen. I did not see those being built. Castleage for red. We've got relatively fast castle. Both sides both for our castleage right now. It was 18 minutes, so it's not really fast castle. Alistair's now seeing some fire from that scout. We've got three archers here, and of course, two spearmen. Finds a good volley down the villager. Villager down to three health. He does have fletching research as well. He can get up the bracer and get all the leather armor research. And he can get up the armor as well. So, along with his unique tech, he does get a very good archer line. Now we got some knights here, but there are some escorting spearmen. Going for, going for Arbos at the moment. Does not have a uh, bottom of the resource, nor any villagers right now. One knight does go down to the spearmen. There's a crossbow, but he will still be able to overrun. And more knights now being pulled on the field. Sign's going to need to pull out a bit more spearmen, maybe pikemen. Help deal with these knights. He can go all up to only pikemen, not halberdiers. <laughs> We got a good number of archers right here. Some of these farms have expired, and we do have another, another town that's being pulled on the field. So I cut the blood, quite a bit of gold there. Red is not fully walled in this region, while well, Sign has fully walled in. We got three knights facing aboard, one of them severely wounded. Scout here to spot as well. Two more knights in tow. And Sign's just right now going for mass crossbows, not getting any spearmen at the moment. This crossbow needs to stay away. The Palisade Gate is behind some Palisade Walls there, so making a single file good for the archers, or crossbows. Not good for hitting down the Palisade Gate there, so it's a good position. Do now have a Siege Workshop being pulled up at red on the front line, very nice. May want to go for Batting Ram or Mega Nope, both would be useful in this current compos- against his current- as his opponent's current position. Batarams could just put holes in everything. I think people should avoid battering rams a little bit more often, in my opinion. They're good at battering down and making some holes. Nice advancing on forward. Maybe trying to hit the Palisade Gate there. And that wounded uh, knight does immediately get picked off by the defensive crossbows. Science crossbows do find some of these forces being intercepted. Very, very good. Now I got all these knights now pushing down to the right, trying to deal with these crossbows. Uh, something got cancelled there. Based on the hole, that could have been a mill. Not mill, blacksmith. No, oh, there's a the blacksmith. I'm not sure what that hole would be. Some of these villagers are getting hit by these crossbows. They're trying to run away over here. The crossbows do back themselves in the corner, so the knights will can engage them. But however, they also minimize the surface area for these crossbows to be hit. He's a... Uh, Give out the corner. He's not going to really fight out of this. Gets a kill there on the knight. Another horse goes down. It's out another knight there. Backs himself in a nice corner there. It does delete the palisade wall there and the, and the house there in order to overwhelm, which does allow him access to the villagers, but he will only get sporadic damage. We finish off that one. Does not finish off that one. So Cyan does lose all of his crossbowmen there. But we have now Magnus being pulled field. Cyan's going for more and more of these crossbows. He does not have chemistry, nor... Well, we can't get chemistry yet, but does not have ballistics at the moment. Let's see. Oh, Magno annihilates that deer. Right now, let's see what's Red going for. More knights, more Magnos, and more horse armor. Making Bethesda proud of that. Of course, these knights are a bit cheaper. So, probably a good idea for Sign to pull out some pikemen. A lot of knights here. Ooh, he splashes himself uh, a little bit there. So on advance of forward, does throw a couple walls there. When the knights get gunned down, thanks to also being splashed by his own Maganel. Finds a good volley there. Does roll a miss there. Definitely does need ballistics. More knights, more Maganels with build queue. Small splash there. Science currently pop cap. There goes a villager there. She eats a lot of rocks. 
and not the candy rocks either. Start to hit down this archer range there. Very nice. It does have backline archer range as well as a monastery. You see Monkle Dude Kid is going to try to get some conversions. So I believe he needs to get out some spearmen pikemen. He crafts getting them queued up there. They're relatively cheap. But he doesn't really have a whole lot of wood at the moment now, does he? Sitting down this town center right now. More knights on the Dude Kid for red. Third Meganel being pulled out. And the archer range does go down there. Gain some more damage on the town centers of the Maganel. They, of course, can outrange the towns over there. Seven range versus six range. Sign of has own Maganel. So I'm advance on four, trying to find a volley on one of these Maganels. Rolls a partial hit there. Let's get a conversion there. The monk goes inside the town center as well. Very nice. Town center severely damaged. Needs some repairs. Capture of Knight will go down there. Science of Maganel's doing being good dropping micro. Does get some more of these knights as well. Very nice. Pounce is about ready to get damaged and force ejected everything inside. Does get force ejected out there. The monk as well. The monk has 100% conversion. Could try to get a conversion off. Science Maganel does go down, but two of uh, Red's Maganels do go down. Red Sign has another Maganel for you. Neutral trade there. Science uh, monk goes down to the Maganel. So needs some repairs over here. Just knights hitting up the barracks. Not pulling out any more spearmen or any spearmen. Now it's starting to the town center. We'll get a quick little trade on up. I go for conversion there. Finds good volume of villagers. Those a handful of wounded villagers here just fall back. In fact, the, the town is repaired, so may one fall back and follow them. He's out house there. Sign does have plenty of population space at the moment. No stone. He does have, of course, three towns at the moment. Red has two villager production at the moment. Red has a lot less villagers in his phone as well. 81 to 56. So the Viking player is not in a great position, but not in a hor horrendously bad position. You can see here as well, Red still has his 100 stone. So he can't simply has not chosen chosen to use that utilize that stone at the moment. And highlights another deer there. He really does not like venison, I guess. You have more horse armor being researched, as well as more knights. Right now, science is going for more villagers. Oh, he lost a lot of population room. I thought he had up to like 130. More houses being pulled on the field. Magnol finds a volley there. We'll get over where I am, but may receive a lot of fire from these crossbows. Magnol's advancing forward. Trying to go for conversion there. There's the monk going down. Another knight going down. A couple of these knights are quite wounded. More volleys here in the town center. And that spare house will go down. He still has a seven spare pump at the moment, but he's currently utilizing it. Those are seeing a bit of fire there. And the monk is going to does steep out to the town center there. Size so going out another Meganel there. These knights of Vance War trying to hit the wood line. I can also see a bit of fire there. Another villager. Nope, does not go down the moat. More arrows onto these knights. The villagers get forced back thanks to the council being too damaged. Right now, Sign does have more villagers and opponents, so losing town centers could not be a massive problem, just a small problem. Lose converted knights trying to hit the Maganel. Gets a great damage there. He does take out one of the Maganels there. Very nice. So these villagers all go down over here. Science down to 81 villagers for 67. More of these knights trying to get some damage on in. Conversions going off. Multiple knights may get converted. None of them can convert at the moment. He does. He does not have access to redemption, so he can't exactly convert these siege weapons. Monk. Oh! Does get a good hit there on the science of Meganel, but does see a deadly hurt hit in return. Monk does get wounded right there. Villager will eat some rocks. As well as a bit of dirt right now. Uh, something got researched so there. It is ballistics. Will be very handy to help deal with those knights. This gold deposit is almost down. Does mm -hmm. stand up to this gold deposit here of another town center. Red has advanced forces towards this red uh, gold deposit. There's some more gold deposits over there. The stone has not been touched. And the stone is being touched. 
Not very inappropriately, however. Palisade wall of seats with a fire there. Gets a good hit there on the Knights of the Magnell. Doesn't recur up the Magnell there, and now we finally got a defensive group of pikemen. Franco for conversion onto these knights. A mutual trade there with the uh, Magnells, which is good for Cyan overall. Rolls a miss there onto the pikemen. Monk tried to go for conversion. Pikemen do see a hit there. Magnell does not go down the moment. Magnell does go down there, just leaving one remaining. Does leave a pretty good hit there. Gets a conversion off. Very nice. Backing on off. Let's our set of rocks in his own knights there. Monk not being harmed the moment. Has been greatly harmed at the moment. More pikemen advancing forward. Crossbowman still trying to start us up away. Pikemen making their way forward. Gains some great damage throughout those knights. Got these villagers over here. And now we have also another conversion off somewhere. I'm not sure where. There it is. That was claim a knight there. Nice. Converted knights trying to overrun these Maganels. Very nice. We do have a red villager here. Does get the kill down on that Maganel after a red villager try to repair it up. Crossbow advanced four pikemen providing good escort for these crossbows. And the converted knights are still alive. At least the ones that are currently alive. Nice advance forward. There's a couple of wounded knights here. No, that one doesn't go down there. A lot of these knights are actually quite wounded there. Got multiple siege war trusts on the front line for red. Got more pikemen across them. Build queue for cyan. No more magnals being on the front line or being built up for red. It does actually steal a bit of gold right here. Nothing too significant though. Side's going to retaliate now. There's still the small gold deposit over here. Spearmen or pikemen will take a very long time to deal with these housing. And now there's some of these villagers starting going down, trying to. And they are just being picked off on the high ground. More knights. Knights being regrouped, pushing way forward. A lot of these guys are quite wounded. He may want to get out some monks there. Now this side has claimed relics mode, and Sion's going for a forward castle right there. It's on the colonial high ground as well, so it'll be a great position there. Might get received for the fire there. There's some pikemen here for defense. Those knights, they don't have good spotting range there. We'll spot all these pikemen now. He does, of course, spot the... I suppose he does spot them with the nearby structures. Pikemen getting great damage right there. The crossbow is just out of range. Monk trying to go for some conversions here. Does get a conversion somewhere. Got some scorpions on the front field. Reds, nice try and charge it forward. Hits there onto the knights. That was a good hit there from the scorpions. Science castle's almost gone up. And now I got science converted knight slicing up some of these scorpions now. And science keep does go on up or castle. Wrong game. Red's knights trying to advance up to the north. Red has lost a significant amount of army there, trying to pull out more knights at the moment, as well as more villagers. Right now, the villager count is in favor of Cyan by a small margin. The stone's almost completely secure. There's only three stone remaining. Looks like the Cyan knight and pikemen do take out those scorpions. Right, nice face forward. We'll find one of these pikemen. We'll quickly get folks down there. And we got these cross wounds firing away, gains a good damage there onto these knights. More spearmen push way forward, trying to get some damage onto these knights. Knights advance on forward, gains great damage there on those crossbows. And for pikemen trying to fight some escort. And a lot of these knights are oh so wounded. The more I want to say is just fall back, wrap, get a go to some monks, get healed up. Chris now for university, now going for his own pure age as well as hand cart. And now some of these villagers make it overran by these knights. They're wounded. Eichmann can deal with them, but knights so are fast. Those are good inside the town center there. We have another keep up by a sign. Are we going to see some berserkers? We 
We don't see any Berserkers just yet. Or just Berserks. Those nice to get all get cleaned on up. We got more crossbowmen spear in here. And we actually do have some Berserks. Now that side has claimed relics at the moment. This map, I'm gonna see. Oh, we gotta see one relic here, one relic here, one relic here, one relic here, and one relic here. And Cyan does have monks. He should actually eye getting those relics. Got these crossbow and a handful of pikemen pushing before trying to hit some of these villagers. Of course, we do have Imperial Age for Cyan, Arbalus, and. Bracer have both been researched. More Arbus and Plumpio. Chemistry on the way. He does find a good kill there on that villager. Arbus right now have 8 range, 10 damage. He can get up to 11 damage with his Imperial Age unique technology. I see a lot of signed villagers advancing forward. He may be eyeing for a castle somewhere. He does have 710 stone. So a castle on the high ground wouldn't be half bad. It's nice trying to push along the flanks. Now we've got red with Imperial Age, and so let's take a look at red at the moment. Let's see what he's deploying out. We got ballistics, ar uh, infantry armor, not infantry armor, archer armor, along with elite skirmishers. who's not being plucky of trying to counter his opponent. Skirmishers do great versus pikemen as well as arbalists. He can't get bracers as well. The mountain genitura wouldn't be half bad as well. Of course, it's a little bit expensive. And neither side will be, neither unit will be great against the keep. Now we've got Preservers painting on forward. Keep getting some great damage there. Thanks to increased range, it has 11 range. Thanks to Bracer, Botanier, and all that sort. Berserkers not charging forward. Berserkers have 3 inherent Pierce armor. In this skirmish has 5 attack. So if he gets a little bit more armor onto these guys, they will get, only take 1 damage each from elite skirmishers. Red's not trying to pull out some light cavalry over on the Arbalist, but there's just far too many Arbalists here. He needs to get out, potentially some Magnells. Can he get up up to Onagers and all that sort? Can't get the Onagers. Can't get heavy Scorpions as well. And now I do have Berserker's Fanks on forward. I have a good feeling he's going to see Elite Berserker Rose. He's going for more infantry armor. He does have 121 villages, not any anymore. Going for a trebuchet. Or Berserkers on the build queue. We're going to transition to the Berserkers. And these Eichmann are still trying to engage the Siege Workshop there. And these Scouts are getting ripped apart from that castle. Not even close. I guess some good damage down these housing. Berserkers do see a bit of damage there, falling back away from the Light Cavalry. Trebuchet now engaging the mosque there, or monastery. Berserkers slowly looking to take the part. They do have right now five Pierce Army Elite Skirmishers, do have seven damage at the moment. And now these Berserkers are overrunning these Skirmishers. Berserkers' health regen will become very useful. They may want to get out the elite Berserker resource to turn right if Mount Berserker is pulling out on the field. Berserker's pushing before. Do you got some bomb bars on the pulled on the field? Berserker's getting some good damage there. Do you have some knights and light cavalry here to engage with Berserkers? Here in a uh, kitty cat getting some bites here. Pikeman now trying to hit some of these villagers. Getting some good damage on in. Arbos banks have forward slowly. More berserkers being pulled on the field. Got blast forge is also being researched as well. Here's the final infantry upgrade. Here's some hand candy pulled on the field, which is a good item versus the uh, infantry of, of his opponent, at least those berserkers. They of course do get severely outranged by these arbalists. The candy have what? 
the uh, seven range. Yeah, seven range versus right now these Arvos ten range or eight range. That's eh, not too terribly far. Berserker Spain for board, overrunning these skirmishers. The skirmishers pose no threat to the berserkers. Walmart is also being overran right now. More berserkers being flung field. Going for another wave of five villages, apparently. He has plenty of resources there. Should really get out the elite berserker research. Oh, he does get the elite berserker. He just got it. It's also a greatly increased the health regen as well. Sign has a couple treasures here hitting this castle. Will it will go down shortly? Counter gain some damage there on the berserkers as they start annihilating these infantry forces or villagers. Both we'll have 111 villagers. So Red still has plenty of villagers to work with, but he's still his frontline infrastructure is just getting overwhelmed. Everybody's getting now getting some hit onto these stables. More storms just being floored out on the field. It has not been able to mount a counterattack towards these Arbalests. He needs just some Maganels, I would say. Right now, Red is deploying out more skirmishers, more like casually. He does have a research, and that is the end of the replay. This is Adam Gray saying, thank you for watching, on to the next replay.